Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclutter this panel class because this panel class has a lot going on anyway. Okay, um, and, and so let's take all of our card logic and let's move it into a different class so that we can think about it over there and it just sort of organizes things a little bit more nicely. Okay, um, all right, so what I've done is uh, in the old panel class, I had defined all of my bitmap variables, all of my cards, and then inside of panel, I'm checking to see what card uh, is active in getter setter, and I'm drawing that card. Okay. Um, so what I've done is I've created a card draw class. All right, and once again, that's simple file, new, and then. Um, I'm sorry, right click, new, and then Java class, right? Okay, and so once I've got that, there are a couple things going on here. All right, so in public class card draw, all right, I declare all, I just basically copied all those bitmaps that I had very top of the class and I've made those global variables. You wanna pause this video and you wanna kind of do this one step at a time, okay? Um, I also suggest that you make a backup of your project now. Okay, if your project is working, back it up before you do this. Okay, so once your project is backed up, uh, you're going to take all your bitmap variables and you're going to basically copy them into the top of the class here for card draw, making them global. And then we're going to create a constructor method. And this is public card draw. Okay, it has the same name as the class. This is our constructor method. It takes um, it takes a uh, an argument context, okay, because the application itself has a context and you need to be able to move that around, okay, um, so you can pass the application's context to another class and we're going to do that in order to make this work. So this constructor does take a context as an argument. Now, in the old, uh, inside of panel, it would be like, okay, two clubs equals bitmap factory decode resource, and then it would just say get resources, okay because we have the context taken care of uh, through a different method, all right, uh, a different way. This is, there are several ways to do this. In this case, what I did was I went to Edit, and then um, Find Replace, all right, and then I replaced Get Resources with Context.GetResources, all right, and so that way, I hope I didn't screw up my program, I bet I did, yeah, I did, all right, um, and so that way, all of them uh, end up with, so instead of having get resources like we had before, we have context.get resources, okay? And essentially, if you're drawing cards and doing all that correctly, this is just a copy and paste into a method, all right, called card draw, which is a constructor. So, you know, essentially all we're doing is we're declaring our variables, and then we're pointing all of our variables now to a drawable. You want to pause the video and get that taken care of. Okay. Um, so inside of my card draw class, I've created a method called deal. Okay. And uh, essentially, it's doing what we were doing inside a panel: getter setter card, getter setter current card, getter setter card is an array. The current card is simply the number in the array uh, that we're advancing by pressing the button. If the suit equals whatever, we draw the card. All right, so this will do a canvas.drawBitmap. Now the deal method takes canvas as an argument, okay? Um, because you've got to have that canvas that we're working with, that canvas that's constantly redrawing. You have to have access to it in this class. All right, so you want to pause the video and do that. Okay, now um, Inside a panel, let's take care of this. What I'm doing is at the very top of panel is a global variable. I'm saying card draw, card draw. Okay, and that's just creating an instance of card draw. Inside of our constructor that has the context, okay, and the attribute set, this one, okay, um, I am going to uh, do card draw equals new card draw and we're just going to take the context that's taken care of here and we're going to pass it to card draw so card draw now has access to the application context all right that's one way to do it um, and then inside of on draw instead of having all that crazy getter setter logic I just call card draw dot deal all right so now 
when we go in and we start making this card draw, um, we start making this work for us uh, so that we're drawing multiple cards and stuff. We're working inside of a separate class and we aren't messing up this actual panel. We've just got a real simple card draw dot deal going on and we know that we're calling a method that's checking things and drawing cards. Okay, so good luck getting that set up. Uh, please let me know if you need help. This is getting more and more complicated, I know. But once you get through this uh, particular blackjack project, uh, you, your, your zen uh, she'll be, uh, should, be, should be a lot stronger. All right, so uh, good luck, and let me know what you need.